All right, so here I am on my iPad. I'm going to go to the Animoto app. I pulled down and I'm typing Animoto. And if you go into the Animoto app and it looks like this, you'll see up here on the top corner, there's a little profile picture. You can tap on that to expand. And here's where you can choose to log in with your email address. So I'm going to go ahead and type that in. So here it is all typed in. I hit log in. This will sign me into my account. When you're signed into your account, you can start creating a video by tapping on create video up here at the top right. So I'll do that, create video. First step in this process is to pick some pictures to add. So this is the first step we're at here. This is my camera roll. This is scrollable. So if I tap and hold, I can scroll through this and look back through my camera roll of pictures. So let me find some pictures. Let's say I'm doing a slideshow on my recent trip to London. Now, you have to tap on the little check marks to add those pictures or video clips into your video. So I'm going to choose some of these here. Just some scenery shots. Notice it's keeping track up here. It says I currently have 11 pictures. So if you're wanting to know how many pictures you've added at a certain point. Uh, let's see here. That should be good. When you're ready to move on, you want to come up and tap on the little arrow here that moves you to the next section. Be very careful not to tap this. This will check all pictures. So you want to make sure you tap on the little blue arrow there. That'll move us now on to the style and music. So here you can pick from a certain style that's previewing right here in this big box. Down below right here, this is where I can slide across and see the different themes to pick from. So depending on the type of video you're making, you would probably want to choose something that relates or goes well with your project. I'm going to choose air. And if you tap on them, you can, you can preview what they look like. That one might look kind of cool. I think I'll stick with that one. Down below, right here, this is where your music is chosen. So each theme has its own piece of music. If you don't like that theme, you can tap on these three little lines and that'll open up the music area. And then you can scroll through and you can see they have these different sections of music to pick from and there's this choice to see all in a certain area. So if I scroll through here, there's classical, country, electronica, gospel, Halloween. They have about a thousand songs that you can pick from. Earth. If you want to hear what that sounds like, you can click right here on play and it'll play a little caption of it. I've already listened to that one before, so I'm going to choose that. And now I can click on done or tap on done. And this takes me to where I can now organize and move things around in my video. So these cards represent all your different pictures. You can tap and hold on one and drag and move it. So you can put these in the order of how you want these to appear in your video. If you tap and hold, that's what allows you to move them. So you probably want to think of what's a good first picture that I want to come up. Maybe I'll do a skyline picture. If you tap on a picture, just a quick tap, that opens that picture up where you can now enter a caption. So that will appear, you'll see that, that'll appear as text below the picture. And the other choices here at the bottom, this little star, if I turn that on, that'll be a featured picture. It said that'll now be featured, meaning a little more time will be spent on that picture. If a picture comes in rotated the wrong way, this will allow me to rotate the picture. And if I want to get rid of a picture, this allows me to trash the picture. So you can enter captions on whichever pictures you want. I'm going to hit done. Notice the caption does show up. Uh, that means when the video plays, you'll see that later. If you scroll down to the bottom, at the way bottom is this little title card. You can click on that and add a title card. So if I was going to say London trip, and this was in July of 2012, this will make a title card. And again, you can also choose if you want that to be up a little longer, you can star it. Uh, if you make a mistake, you want to get rid of it, you can delete it. I'm all done, so I'm going to tap on save. And that title card appears down here at the bottom. I obviously want that to be at the beginning, so I'm going to tap and hold that, and I'm going to drag up to the top and put it right here. I should mention, too, this up at the top, this is where you can give a title to the video. If you tap on this little pencil, uh, you can tap on this line, and I'm going to say here, London video and that just titles that up there so we're gonna pretend that I'm all completely done with my video when you're all done you want to go up here to preview at the top right 
this will now get a preview together of the video. So here's a preview of the video starting to play. So there's the title card. And again, the theme, the style I chose. The music's playing, you can't hear it, but uh, the music is playing. So there is the caption. When the video's fully done, that, that won't be cut off like it was there. Uh, so this, this preview will go through your entire video. Anything that I start, if I start a picture, it'll show up a little longer. If you want to go back and edit, you can go up here to continue editing or down here, almost there, continue editing. Either button will take you back. If you are all done, you can click on this love it or tap on this love it and let's save this video. I will point out, once you do save the video, you can't make any more edits to it. So make sure the video is done, fully watch it up there. Uh, you can see that my video is 53 seconds. There is a box here if you wanted to type in a description. I'm going to say that this video is done, so love it and save. So after you save your video, the video does not show up anymore in the iPad app. If you want to see your video, you can go to the Animoto website and actually see it. So I'm going to show that right now. So here I am in the Animoto app. I'm going to hit the home button on the iPad. I'm going to go into either Safari or Chrome. And I'm going to go to Animoto.com. Once you get there, you can click sign in. You can see I've already signed in. If you click on your name, you can choose my videos. And this is where your videos get stored. So here are the two videos I've worked on. Here's the London video I was just creating. If I tap on that, it takes me to the page where that video is hosted. So after a while, after your video is finished rendering, the video may appear in the app. Uh, if you're in the app and you're at your main page here, you can swipe down to see if the video will refresh or the, the app will refresh so that your video does show. You can see right here, here's the London video that I've been working on through this demo. I can go here, I can click play, I can watch the video. For this next part, uh, I'm going to show how to take the link for this video, because this video is now on the web, how to take this link and turn it into your teacher. To do that, though, we can't do it here in the app. So I'm going to also show right now, if you, when you're done with the app, uh, you need to tap on Franklin Tech, and down here is the logout, and you can tap on logout, and that will actually log you out of the app so that the iPad is ready for the next student. I'm going to hit the home button and jump out of the app, back to my home screen. So here I am at the home screen. I'm going to go to Safari, to my browser. And in the browser, I'm going to actually go to the Animoto website. So I would tap up here, type animoto.com, which I've already done, to get to the Animoto website. You would tap login, which would be located up at the top right here. I've already logged in. Your videos are hosted on this My Videos page. So I tapped on my name, and now I'm going to tap on My Videos. So here is where any of the videos I've created get stored. They get stored on Animoto's website. I can tap on the London video to go to that page. When you're at the page, you want to copy the address for this page. This is the link that you want to turn into your teacher. The reason we do this here is because when you copy the link from here, if you're filling out a turn-in form or pasting the link somewhere, it works best if you copy the link from within the browser. So how do you copy the link? You're going to tap up here in the address bar and you'll see there's the full link and it's already highlighted. You're going to tap and hold on that link with your finger and release and you'll get some choices. One choice is select all. You want to select the entire address. So you've selected that. Now you want to copy the address. Okay, so that's copied. Now I would, I'm going to jump out of there. Uh, you can open a new tab using this plus button here. And if your teacher has a turn-in form, they probably have a web address posted for you to get to that turn-in form. Here's an example turn-in form if I was filling this out for my teacher. So I would fill out my name, my first name, my last name. Uh, they may have you choose the grade or the class that you're in. And they may have a question that relates to the assignment. So if I tap this one here, it says Animoto video. And then down in this box, this is where you're going to paste that address. So to paste, we do the same thing. We tap and hold on the iPad, release, and then there's a little button that says paste, and you touch on paste, and there is the link. So this is giving the link to the teacher by hitting submit, and then the teacher has a link right to your video. So that is how you can finish your project, get the link using the browser, and put it into your teacher's turn-in form. Thanks for watching.